Hi! You might remember me. I'm the guy that does the stop motion videos. Well, until life got in the way. You see, I've been really busy at the moment. Obviously, past couple of months I've moved house. Been decorating. I went to Ibiza. Jumped off a boat into the Mediterranean Sea. Had a discussion with myself about how I can develop this YouTube channel and make it even better. And well, I'm back! And this is the start of the future of this channel and I have a brand new series coming to you and it starts today it is called stop motion challenge and this is where you challenge me to create a tutorial within five minutes and I have five minutes to do it and it starts today right now and obviously I haven't had time to ask anyone so this is the first and only time that I will just do my own five minute challenge and then I want the rest to come from you guys yourselves so I have my mini me here who is a bit under the weather it will be now his head's fallen off but more to the point his hands now these are the first things that go, these are the ones that need the most maintenance and it's because they are used so much and they've only got little wires inside, they snap quite, quite quickly. So we're going to cast some more hands, we are going to make more mini me hands out of silicon and it's all going to be done on a five minute challenge it's a stop motion challenge so let's get five minutes on the clock and let's begin just feeding the wire through the holes to make the fingers then I'm going to put little bits of milliput on the end of these because they're sharp, pointy, you want to get rid of that so it stops trying to pierce through the silicon and then obviously you see the wires through the fingers, we don't want any of that so I'll milliput the ends of these but I'll just do the other one on this side here and then we're almost there, just lining it up in the mould so I can work out exactly where I need to make my cuts, so I'm going to mark it with a pen now. Okay, time to bang in the oven. They fit into the moulds perfectly. So the next stage now, as you can probably see from everything that I've got out, is to start working on mixing the silicon so that it's uh, the colour of skin. So, we're going to start weighing it out. Two parts silicon, parts A, part B, equal parts, 50-50, dead simple. Get part A up, we're going to weigh about 40 grams, something like that. Changed my mind, 25 grams. Okay, next thing to do is to colour this so that we have the skin texture. Now, quite often when, you, when you're painting with anything like any plastics or anything, we, we tend to do a primer coat first and we do that primer coat in a white. All we're using is some oil paint. So what I'm going to do is put a little dab of white, white oil paint into both of these and it will start to form a white paste colour and give us a bit of a primer so from this I can then start to 
add a few different colours to create the colour of skin. Now, I am happy, I think, with the colours of that. So, I'm going to make a smaller batch that we are then going to paint onto the moulds, let that dry, then we put the armature in, then we put the second lot of silicon all over the top, squash them together, jobs are good. We're just making the first seal, getting into all of the crevices, the nooks and crannies. This should have dried now. We're all ready to put the last and final lot of silicon in, along with the armatures. Right in the centre, and then I'm going to push it out into the fingers. Let's get our armatures into place. So we're going to pop these in now. Here we go. One part straight over, the other part, we're going to press down like crazy. These have been left to cure, they've been in the oven, they are now ready to prise open. Let's start with this first one. Ta -da! Now what I'm going to do is bang a load of talcum powder on this and that is because this silicon is quite sticky when it comes out. We can peel the excess off now. And you have no seam lines. Yeah, sorry, I, I can't I can't explain it yet. But I will do in one of the paid courses. I promise you I will. challenge stop motion style done dusted my mini me has brand new hands on there and well I hope you like this this is something that I want to try and do so if you have any kind of suggestions any tutorials or something that you want me to do in a five minute challenge then please let me know in the comments below and I shall try and put together another five minute stop motion challenge with your request that's your request please if you've enjoyed this like the video subscribe if you haven't already hit that notification icon then you won't miss any more of these videos my name is Pete Ellis this is my mini me this is my animated life Keep animating one frame at a time. I'll see you real soon.